네, 캘리포니아에 계시는 선생님이 하시겠습니다. And the first question is from California. Um, I grew up for my first 10 years in communist Poland. Um, 크게 얘기해라. I happen to have reacted to malnutrition, which was endemic in communist countries, especially after World War II, uh, by getting high triglyceride levels, um, which saved my intelligence. But unfortunately, 26 late years later, I suffered a stroke. Which destroyed a part of my brain. Um, I've been retired for the last four years and exploring various sources of wisdom. Um, and during those four years, I tried many ways to try to meditate. Uh, and I was not successful. And eventually my neurologist told me that the part of the brain that I need to meditate uh, is just not working because of that stroke. Um, so I wanted to ask you, what is the best way uh, to access Buddhism as a source of wisdom uh, without the ability to meditate. Yeah, 그래도 지금 건강하신데요. You look very healthy, though. Thank you. Uh, I'm generally healthy, um, and living in Torrance, California, um, uh, I have access to the world's best research physicians so i hope to stay healthy for a long time 어, 지혜를 얻고 싶다라고 말씀을 하시지만은 어, 선생님께서 말씀하시는 거는 제가 들어봤을 때좀 고상한 지식을 얻고 싶다 이렇게 들립니다 so you say you want to study Buddhism as a source of wisdom, but from what I hear from you, uh, my impression is that you want some, you want to learn some refined knowledge. Um, I don't know whether it needs to be refined because looking at other sources of wisdom, I see that a lot of the wisdom available from uh, the best philosophers is really very simple. Uh, however, in trying to get some wisdom from Buddhism, I find that the first step is always learn to meditate, which I can't do. Uh. 불교의 지혜는 아무것도 얻을 것이 없다, 구할 것이 없다 하는 것을 아는 것이 최고의 지혜입니다. The highest level of wisdom from Buddhism is to realize is there's nothing to attain. 그렇기 때문에 이뇌 기능의 일부가 뭐 파손이 됐다 하는 거하고는 아무 관계가 없습니다. So it has nothing to do with parts of your brain not functioning. 뇌 기능의 일부 때문에 장애가 있다면 그것을 지혜라는 이름의 지식을 얻고자 하기 때문입니다. And if you feel that a, you know, your brain damage is somehow an obstacle to your objective, that's because you're looking to learn a piece of knowledge. 철학이라고 하는 것은 논리적인 지식입니다. Because philosophy ultimately is a logical or rational form of knowledge. Yeah, 그러니까 그런 철학적인 지식, 그러니까 논리적 지식을 얻겠다는 겁니다. And you are seeking to attain some kind of philosophy-based knowledge. 그러니까 지혜는 
아무것도 얻을 바가 없구나 아무것도 구할 바가 없구나 하는 것을 자기가 안다면 그것이 최고의 지혜라고 부탄은 말했습니다. So what Buddha said if you realize that there's nothing for you to pursue or nothing for you to attain he said that was the highest form of wisdom. 왜냐하면 어, 그 어떤 것도 참으로 내 것이라 할 것이 없다. And the reason is that there is nothing in this world that you can actually call your own. 그 어떤 것도 영원한 것은 없다. That there is nothing in this world that's permanent. 그 어떤 것도 나라고 할 것은 없다. There is nothing in this world that you can actually say that this is me. 그 어떤 것도 내가 옳다라고 할 것도 없다. That there is nothing in this world that you can point to and say I am right. 음, 그렇기 때문에 얻을 것도 없고 구할 것도 없다. That's, therefore, there's nothing for you to attain or chase after. 이것을 음, 자각하게 되는 겁니다. And it's to realize this. 이렇게 말로 지식으로 아는 게 아니라 그것을 체험하는 겁니다. Not know it, but experience it. 음, 그러면 아무런 괴로움이 없어집니다. And if you do that, All suffering goes away. 화날 일도 없어지고. There's no cause for anger. 슬플 일도 없어지고. No cause for grief. 두려워하거나 불안하거나 이런 것도 없어집니다. No cause for fear or anxiety. 음. 그런데 우리가 가끔 불안하거나 또는 두려움이 일어난다면. But if we feel anxious or fearful sometimes. 그 뭔가 나라라는 것에 집착하거나 내 것이라 하는 생각을 하기 때문입니다. And that's only because then we are attaching to this called thing called me or to mine. 이런 관점에서 공부하는 것이기 때문에 지금 어, 그뇌 기능의 일부가 뭐 문제가 있다 하는 것은. 이 지혜를 얻는데 아무런 장애가 되지 않습니다. So since Buddhist path is an exploration from this perspective, a functional or malfunction of the parts of the brain should not serve as an obstacle to that exploration. 어, 뇌 기능의 일부가 망가진 것을 가지고 아쉬워하거나 아, 안 그랬으면 좋겠다 하거나 그것 때문에 괴로워한다면 그것은 어, 집착하기 때문에 그렇습니다. And if you suffer because you wish you could gain back that loss of a function of the brain, and that only causes suffering because you're still attached to that. 현재 주어진 상태, 나이가 들었으면 나이가 들었다, 늙었으면 늙었다, 고장이 났으면 병이 들었으면 병이 들었다 하는 그 상태를 있는 그대로 받아들이는 것이 지혜입니다. The wisdom really is accepting the current state you're in, whether it's your older, uh, whether there's some sickness you have to suffer from, there's a malfunction. It's accepting the, the situation as it here and now. 왜냐하면 그것을 받아들이지 않는다고 변화가 일어나는 게 아닙니다. Because just because you resist from accepting it doesn't mean the reality of that situation goes away. 네, 치료할 수 있으면 치료하면 됩니다. And if you can fix it or treat it, then that's fine. 치료가 안 되면 그대로 받아들이면 됩니다. But if the treatment doesn't work, then you have to accept it. 음, 그럴 때 불안하거나 초조하거나 두려움이 있거나 하는 것이 있느냐 없느냐 이게 불교 가르침의 핵심입니다. But as you accept that situation, do you still feel anxiety, regret, fear? And that's the focus of Buddhist teaching. 지금 명상을 어떤 기술적인 지식적인 어, 이런 관점에서 접근하기 때문에 명상을 했는데 내가 원하는 바가 이루어지지 않았다 이런 생각을 하는 것 같습니다. And I think you are approaching meditation, your thinking meditation is some kind of technique or skill, and that's why you're having this issue. 음. Um, okay, I I think first of all, I thank you for the wisdom of uh what 
you have just communicated to me. Um, and I live in America and everything in American culture is considered a skill uh, that uh, one goes about learning, uh, including meditation. So the idea that uh, it's a matter of discarding rather than acquiring uh, is certainly something that is going to be helpful to me. So thank you, um, your venerable um, Well, thank you for accepting, uh, you know. It's not easy to accept my words. And if you are really wise, you have to think, oh, old age is good. <laughs> You know, you have not much to do. <웃음> 그리고 어, 걸음도 천천히 걸어지고. And you can walk slowly. 왜냐하면 우리가 명상할 때 천천히 걸으면서 동작을 알아차려나 그러잖아요. Because during meditation, we teach you to walk slowly and be aware of every movement you make. 어, 젊을 때는 막 자꾸 빨리 걸어져서 이게 천천히 걷기가 힘듭니다. When you're young, you tend to walk faster. 어, 그래서 늙으니까 저절로 천천히 걸어지잖아요. But when you're older, you automatically walk slower. 어, 그래서 이것도 명상에 도움이 되는 연령입니다. So old age actually is conducive to meditation. 네, 이렇게 지금의 나의 상태의 좋음을 발견하는 겁니다. So basically discovering what's good about your current state. 네, 예, 기억에 어떤 손실이 생긴다, 기억, 기억에 장애가 있다. 꼭 나쁜 거 아니에요. And if you have something wrong with your memory, for example, that's not always bad. 네, 지금 이제 늙었는데 뭘 기억해서 뭐 해요? You know, when you're older, how much do you really need to remember? 네, 명상은 모든 기억이 있는 거를 생각을 내려놓는 게 명상입니다. So meditation is really about, as you said, discarding. What you're holding on to. 뭐 내가 고장이 나서 저절로 이렇게 기억이 안 난다니까 이게 또 좋은 현상이에요. Yeah, so if a malfunctioning brain actually allows you to forget what you had acquired and you automatically discard, that's not a bad phenomenon. 음, 쉬, 쉬, 쉽게 말하면 숨이 넘어가는 순간도 아, 이제 편안하게 잠들겠구나 이렇게 기쁜 마음으로 받아들이는 게 명상입니다. Meditation, for example, simply said. It's maybe on your deathbed as you breathe your last to be peaceful and accepting that you are going into rest. 선생님께서 지금 부, 부처님의 법을 제대로 만났다면 아, 내가 지금 상태가 아주 좋은 상태다 하는 것을 자각하는 겁니다. So if you really access the wisdom of Buddhist teaching is for you to realize at this point here and now that you are really in a good state. 그래서 다른 사람들이 선생님을 보고 아, 저분 참 제로신 분이다 이렇게 평가를 합니다. So that others can look at you and consider you wise. 어, 늙어도 편안하고. Because you are peaceful and 좀, happy when 불편, you're old. 몸이 좀 불편해도 편안하고. And you are peaceful and happy even when you know you have malfunction. 어, 기억을 좀 못해도 편안하고. And if you and you're happy and peaceful even if you don't remember things as clearly. 의사가 오히려 선생님을 보고 걱정을 해서 말해도 선생님이 아, 괜찮아요. 늙으면 다 그래 됩니다. 이렇게 의사를 위로하셔야 됩니다. So it's not the doctors trying to comfort you with uh, promises of treatment. It's you should be comforting the doctor by the nonchalant and the peaceful way you accept your state. 네. 아미다 이렇게 의사가 얘기하면 놀라는 게 아니고 선생님 수고하셨습니다. 드디어 발견하셨네요. 이렇게 말씀해야 됩니다. And if the doctor tells you you have cancer, 
It's not, it shouldn't shock you. You should be able to say instead to the doctor, congratulations, you finally discovered what was wrong with me. 네, 이러면 다른 사람이 선생님을 보고 아, 저분은 참 나이가 드셨는데도 참 지혜로우신 분이다 이렇게 말하는 거예요. And in this state, others see you in this state and will call you, uh, so you have really aged in a wise way. 네, 지혜롭다는 말은 그런 뜻입니다. And when we say somebody is wise, that's what we mean. 뭘 알아가지고 지혜롭다. 이거는 지식이지. 이름이 지혜지. 지식이지. 그건 지혜가 아닙니다. And you can't be wise based on how much knowledge you know. That's not wisdom. Thank you. 네. 소감을 잠깐 들어보겠습니다. And before we go, uh, what did you think? The sub. Couple of comments from you. Very grateful uh, for pointing out uh, that the essence is to discard the things that cause suffering rather than uh, acquire a skill in meditation the way American culture presents it. And that's a deep insight that I am very grateful for. 